guys, welcome back to my um, channel. And today we're I'm gonna show you how to draw a hibiscus flower with just like five easy steps. It's pretty easy to draw a hibiscus. So let's get to it. You're gonna need your watercolor paper, which I have right here. I'll angle the camera so you can see how I'm drawing it. A pen. And then if you are following me or subscribed to me, you should know about the Amazon watercolor brush pens. If you're new and you've never watched my videos before, these are on Amazon and they're pretty cheap. So let's get started. Where's it? It's going to go down, right? Okay. You grab your pen and then you're going to make basically a smiley face. Grab that smiley face and make a hump. Grab in the middle of the smiley face and then make a hump another hump and then on the edge make a hump too so then you're going to make this into a flower pot basically it's a flower pot now hump. one hump you just do a little over it So it should look like this right now. So then we're going to grab this and then we're going to make it a double one. And then at the top, you're going to make a big circle. Make a few little circles. Perfect. So then that's the hibiscus. Now you pick whatever colors you want. I am going to do like a neon kind of color so I'm going to use blue pink and purple like like they're my literally my favorite color this pink my darker pink so these are my pinks that I'm going to be using light pink and dark pink and then I'm going to do the same for the purples and the blues I'm going to do two of these blues these blue pretty blues and then these purples they look exactly the same but this one's like a lighter purple like dark blue kind of yeah so then you're gonna go back down and then you're gonna pick your color that you're gonna start with you're gonna start with the lighters so grab all of the lighter colors yep okay and then you're going to grab a starting lighter color. I'm going to use my pink. And then you're going to grab it. And then you're going to brush it up. Brush it up. Sorry if you can hear a fan in the back. I'm in my mom's room right now. Then after you got that one, you're going to do a different lighter color. I'm going to do this light purple. Basically a blue. But who cares? And then you're just going to start kind of basically filling in the holes. And after you did that, you're going to grab the last lightest color, and then you're going to try to brush it into the blue. And then, after you got that, you see your three of them? You're going to grab your darkest colors. Dark, dark, dark colors. Okay. Then after 
do grab your three darkest colors. This blue looks pretty light, this blue. But this is the darkest blue I have. So then you're gonna grab the darkest, darkest color you have, and then you're gonna brush it under. Then you're also gonna need black brush on for this. Because, yeah. And then you're going to keep just filling it out. You can take your time. Whatever time you like. And then grab your mixer so you don't waste it. And then you're going to be able to mix some of the purple in by just dropping a few drops on it. Just like that. And then mixing it in. If you don't like that color, fine, you can put it, you can put it back, and just keep going on with purple. And then after you put that, you can put your purple back. <laughs> and same as the other stuff you got. And then you're gonna grab this color, and then you're gonna, and then mix it in. Also keep your mixer with you, because you're gonna mix a lot of stuff. After you mix it a little, you're just going to grab your brush pen and then it's going to like mix it around, make a chemical reaction kind of. And then yeah, it looks pretty cool. And then for the last one, it's going to be my pink. You're going to grab it, dab it around where you want to put it. And then you're going to grab your mixer, it's pretty dirty, so it's going to wash it off for a second. And then just add some water to it. And then this is my favorite part. So add the pink in. If you didn't add enough water, you can go back. Just dab some water on. Jabbed it on. Now it's going to mix around and make like this really pretty chemical reaction. Basically, it's pretty, really pretty. And then last things last, you're going to grab your mixer, it's very clean, and then you're going to add some water on each of these, and then you're going to try to mix it up to make it look darker and cooler. Sorry if you can hear my brothers in the back. Because I have a giant family, I have lots of brothers. And then last... Put everything away in your mixer. And then you're gonna grab an orange, like a light orange, like this color. 
And then you're going to fill out the rest of the hibiscus. And there you go, guys. A beautiful hibiscus. Looks realistic. Bye, and I'll see you back on the Diabetes Club. Love you. Bye.